put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. La Pianiste, the Piano Teacher, Mood Review. Erica is about 40. She is a professional pianist, but not quite concert level. So she teaches piano at a music conservatory. She meets Walter, a, a younger man who has a certain amount of talent at piano and he starts to idolize her and at first she shuts him down without without second thought just you know yeah on as, as a reflex almost but their relationship grows over time and she does start to let him in and I really shouldn't give anything I, I shouldn't say more about the plot, uh, lest I give something away. This is an emotionally brutal movie. Trigger warnings all over this thing. Every single scene has the strict relationship between authority and, let's go with student. Every character, every character of authority bullies verbally and mentally, you know, abuses, mentally abuses the student character. And this goes for our protagonist as well. Do not expect to find a character in this that you sympathize with or find sympathetic. Some a number of people aren't going to find one. And that doesn't mean that they're wrong or that the movie is doing something wrong. The very first scene will filter out those who do not have a strong enough constitution. And I should again say, nothing I say here is in, intended to insult you know, in anybody, really. Not, not the movie, not the people who do watch it and like it, not the people who won't watch it, nobody. Just trying to be descriptive and praise the movie because it is an amazing movie. Yeah, now, yeah, a, a lot of people are going to stop watching during the very first scene and yeah, it, it really, it wears the it, it wears it right on its face, the movie does. Now, the it's, it's in part because the world of professional piano playing is completely unforgiving. They're, it, it's perfectionistic, and this, this is infused in every moment, every character, every relationship, every event in this, and... I've only watched this once before. It was it was May 14th of last year, and it's been vivid in my memory ever since. The and and if you know if you are looking to find this movie, make sure you don't accidentally you know go for the 2002. I think that's when, that one's called The Pianist, just, and, and yeah, so it's a very similar, or the 93, The Piano. Though, uh, you know, the, the 2000, 2002, that's Roman Polanski, that one's quite well worth watching as well, but it's completely different, and about something completely different. I have not read the novel that this is based on. I bumped this movie up in my list of reviews since it hasn't been that long ago that I watched it, and yeah, I bumped it up because that way I, you know, I could review this fairly close to the 
premiere of Fifty Shades of Grey, which I have neither read nor watched, nor do I intend to. I know of its reputation, and I really have no reason to doubt that it is a terrible movie about an s &M relationship, and yeah, and and thus it is worth reviewing this in, in close proximity to the premiere, in, ca in case you want a palette uh, freshener, well, yeah, yeah, in case you want to watch the, yeah, in case you want to watch the, the, you know, the, the stink away of having watched a really terrible movie, again, so I hear about s &M with a really terrifying movie that also deals with this kind of relationship somewhat but but yeah the the you know if i i should have done this or you know review about a week ago but i'd like to say that it's it's like i want to keep some some distance between just so people don't think that it's like too close no no i just i didn't really realize so you know by then i was already ready to do you know the road trip review and yeah but yeah I, with with that said i do not have any like films left at least you know as as i currently it's, i might add more to the list if i think of more but yeah i don't really have any like films left that i was going to do you know in this series which really says something about me anyway this is somewhat continuing the current run of me doing one film review a week that really made an impression on me that I've watched, you know, years ago and intend, you know, I intend for this to be mostly movies that I've watched a ton of times and that I really love. Now, the to get into details of the movie again, Erica watches others have sex through pornos and the like, vicariously having a sex life and a fantasy life. And the actress completely disappears into the role. She, Erica main, retains control even when she isn't the only authority figure in the situation she she doesn't give any now she's she's very she really keeps her distance and you know she she never smiles she she says that she doesn't have any emotions and this you know it the relationship the, the way she is is really fits her relationship with the music that she loves and we're giving rich explanations of this I, I, Schubert and crap I'm, I'm no good with these like artist names but but Schubert is one of her loves and one of the things that she's an expert in and yeah the the you know this music really fits her personality there are clear rules for what is right and what is wrong it's intelligent and reserved and it refuses to cater to the masses she hardly wears any makeup which is an example of the movie not holding back not covering up the any imperfections it's bare and harsh it neither hides nor zooms in on the hard material. Now she lives alone with her mother who is immensely cruel to her and when Erica fights back the mother becomes the submissive in the relationship. They keep switching back and forth between who is the dominant and who is more submissive in that relationship and the mother this this could have been such a one-sided character but there's real nuance there you can tell that it's not just she really does care about Erica there's there's more to it than just you know being 
immensely in control of Erica's life. They both miss the father who's in a psychiatric institution and they're both lonely. Now... There are a lot of long takes you know, with, with few people in the shot, there's a lot of silence. And there are, you know, sometimes relatively few cuts. We do get a lot of, and, and you know, little camera movement, very basic angles and compositions. It's, it's driven by the acting and the dialogue. And the very... The, the loud silences, the, the silences that say so much. We do get a lot of close-ups on Erica's face, and these can last very long. It's, it's the, the, the actress is uh, amazing. I, uh, is, Isabella Schuppert, I think, I, I'm probably butchering her name, she, she's amazing. The, the, being able to say so much with just her face and keep that going and and so much change in just close up just on, only seeing her and and like i said sometimes a lot of time will pass without cutting away from that that takes a tremendous amount of talent and yeah she, she 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 does amazing at it now the movie is very intense and not in the way that it moves very fast but in that again these these the the abusive relationship and such it, like you can you can cut the tension with a knife it is thick in the air again sometimes without, with with very little being said like there are there are times in this where people are just playing the piano and and some others are listening and so much is being you know yeah you can you can totally tell how the relationships between the different characters fill the air and the movie the movie is likely to make you wince at, at times, and that again is not an insult. Now, it goes into themes of selfishness and sacrifice, disgust and understanding, complete acceptance versus unrepentant rejection, what is proper and what is improper, and the world of yesterday with sensual, you know, direct contact, not theory, but playing, composing the, you know, a, a real love of art shoved aside by and for the sake of modern int intellectualism, or study of theory, and crowd pleasers such as sports. There's this there are a lot of really compelling scenes that say a ton in this. An example of, of what I just mentioned is there's a scene, and this is all done in one shot, one wide shot. Two young girls, they're like teenagers, maybe 20 or so, somewhere along, you know, and they are figure skating on this big ice rink and they're amazing like I'm not I'm not really into I don't want to say art I'm not into the these more really intellectual arts just not really my thing but I have tremendous respect for it and even I can see that 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 is amazing talent and without and just just like that a you know two teams of hockey players 
you know, rush into this. There's there's no, like, hey, is it okay if we take... No, no, there's nothing. They don't even, like, wait for the girls. No, they just rush in, you know, brushing right past these two girls. And the girls, they just stop, because what are they going to do? They, they're two, and there's all these... And, and they're girls, and you have, you know, all these guys, you know, with hockey sticks. Not, not saying that there's, like, a real threat there, but just... They're not going to get to engage in their creative expression. And yeah, the, these guys can just, you know, yeah, that's, and that's how it goes. And a scene that really says a lot about Erica is she's walking through the mall and she has, she does not she does not even look at people. She just bypass. It's like they're not even there. They are so far beneath her. She is not going to glance at them. And there's this, you know, young couple smiling, laughing, and they almost bump into her. And they can, you know, get out of the way as as you do when you almost bump into someone. She does not even. It doesn't look like it registers at all. Like, if if they hadn't noticed her, she would, you know, they would have bumped into each other. And a few seconds later, someone, you know, it, too much of a hurry, something, someone does bump into her, and she likes, you know, she freezes a little bit, and it's like, did you just, you know, and the the other guy's just walking. She doesn't like yell at him or anything. Just she stands there like unreal like like a gnat you know just bit like a a deity or something and she brushes off her shoulder as if to clean off the stink of this peasant now the the sex can be arousing repelling it's very real and some people say that this film is too extreme, too unpleasant, and that the ending is frustrating. And I can completely see why. And the movie very much asks questions more than answer them. Now, this is only the second movie I've watched by Michael Haneke, the first one being White Ribbon. The, the White Ribbon. Some, it's just... I'm most definitely going to watch more. He is, he is an amazing, he commands your attention. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.